Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. In this video, I want to show you how you can use Google Slides to organize your research. So, I've already created one slide here in my Google Slides, and I've got a blank slide here. I'm going to go ahead and go to Tools, Research, and open up the Research pane. And let's say my students are researching lobsters and they want to have some pictures of lobsters. So enter the term lobster and we want them to search for images that are free to use, share, or modify. We can also choose to not filter by usage rights, but I want my students to use images that they can legally reuse. Let's say my student likes this picture he or she can just drag it over and put it in the slot. Now that drag and drop feature uh, doesn't work in every browser. It is supported in Chrome and it's supported in the latest versions of Firefox. Now that, that picture is in the slide, I can drag it around and move it wherever I want. The neat thing here is that the source of the image automatically came with it into the slide. And now we'll just right click on it, copy the link address, and I'm going to put it down here in the speaker notes so that we have two ways of accessing uh, the original source for that image. Now let's go ahead and put another slide in. And let's say my students are looking for uh, results from the web. And so we're down here, and lobsters is kind of vague, so maybe we want uh, you know, economic impact. On main lobsters. And my students, you know, perhaps they find this article. Let's preview that. And that gives us just a little bit of a preview. Let's again right click and open it in a new tab. All right, there's the article. My student decides that he or she is going to use that article. Maybe they want you know, just that paragraph is all they really need. So we'll go back in here. And I'm going to have them just put in the text. And the article that we just Red? Well, just insert the link. So just click insert the link and the link is there. Again, the link comes over. If I want to, I can have students right click, copy the address, and put it down in the speaker notes. And I find that this is a good way for students to go back and organize their research, much like uh, many of us did with index cards when we were learning to research before the internet. Uh, our students can now sort through these uh, slides and organize their research and, and put things into, a, into an order before they start to write their paper. And of course, this is also a very good way to organize research for a slideshow itself. So give that a shot. I think your students may find that's a good way for them to organize their web research.